Welcome to my channel and I'm here to inspire you, give you crochet advice and help you along with your next project. If you enjoyed this pattern please give me a thumbs up or even comment so I can gauge your interest. It helps me to know what to film next. I'm not very formal. Here's today's zinger. Ooh, I got a real dirty joke for you today. Ready? Here we go. I dropped my yarn in the mud. <laughs> Let's get on with today's tutorial. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So it's my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. A cable hooded cowl is on the menu today. This is an intermediate slash advanced. This is on the upper side of the intermediate. I would say that it's advanced if you were to ask me directly. So what I have here is three different panels that make up this particular hoodie. The side panels that you see right here, very easy to do. Those are gonna be your walk in the park and this particular cable is going to be the one that uh, may test your nerves. So what I've done for you is that I've done all the homework and I've also created some uh, extra downloads for you so that you can be successful. I will try to break this down as easily as possible. I am going to leave it for you on the assembly of this. The instructions for the assembly are provided on page number two and you can see that it's only a two page pattern but there is a significant repeat when it comes to it. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to demonstrate just how the side panel is done really quickly and I'm really gonna focus today's video on the cabling which is absolutely spectacular but it is also one that is uh, probably the most complicated one I've seen in a long time. So without further ado we're gonna get in and we're gonna start with the side panels. You're gonna make two identical and we'll go through the instructions on that first. For the particular yarn that you're going to use, you can use two balls of Morning Star with this Red Heart uh, Huga Charm. You can also get a substitute yarn with a 5.75 millimeter or a size J crochet hook which could be a six millimeter as well. So you're gonna be using that size hook. I am going to be demonstrating extra thick yarn so that you can see the cable cabling today and that's where our journey is going to begin. So let's start on the side panel. So let's zoom in on the instructions here because you can see this is all that it is right here. So when you're wearing this particular hoodie, it looks like this. This is the upper part, the head, and then this is resting over your shoulders onto your back and to your chest area. So this clear, uh, the other side is clearly the back. So you wanna make two panels like this. This is upside down compared to how you're going to crochet it. So to crochet this, what you're going to do is you're gonna start off in the small area, go back and forth for a set number of, of times, and then you're going to start expanding outward like this. So I'll demonstrate just quickly on how this is going back and forth and on then I'll demonstrate on how it's expanding and let's go back to the instructions. Just ignore my handwritten notes. What we're going to do is we're gonna chain 36 and you're going to do a uh, single crochet second chain from the hook and all the way across and then you're going to chain. So this particular pattern has the chain one at the end of the pattern not at the beginning so just keep an eye on that. So second row is one single crochet in each stitch, chain one and then turn and so then it says to repeat row number two uh, for rows number 33 uh, all the way to 35. So you'll do that. You'll be able to easily count the number of rows and then after that's done we're going to then start the expansion there. So let me just show you how that's done first and we'll begin and that's our starting point. So let's begin and you're going to start off with a slip knot. This is a intermediate advanced level so these basics of crochet I don't really have to cover too carefully today. So you're just gonna start off with a slip knot and it says to chain 36. So that's what you'll do. So one, two, three, four, and five. Go all the way to 36 and I'm gonna continue from this point here just because it's that easy. So um, go to 36 and meet me back here in a moment. So row number one after you get your 36 complete you're gonna go second chain from the hook get the back hump of the chain it looks nicer and you're going to single crochet yourself starting on the second one and go all the way back across your row. So this would be how you would complete row number one. So one single crochet in each chain all the way back to the other side and do that and I'll be right back in a moment. Let's do rows number two now. So I usually turn and then I chain but the pattern says to chain and then turn. You do what you think is right for you. So just make sure you chain. So now uh, row number two is just one single crochet in each stitch going all the way across. And that's all you're gonna do. Okay, so that's row number two. Let's turn our work and begin the repeating now of rows number three to 35. So rows number three to 35 is all the same and you're gonna chain one and you'll do one single crochet in each of the stitches going across. And so when you get to the end of the row, obviously it will be much bigger, 
just turn, chain one and etc. You'll be able to easily count the number of rows because the way that crochet looks is that it looks like it's in pairs of two. Do you see that? Do you see how there's an indent right here? This is two, this is four. So one, two, three, four. So as you continue to do this and chain one and just single crochet across, you'll be able to count the number of, of rows really quite easily. Even when you're doing the expanding round in a bit, you'll be able to be able to see that. So what I need you to do now is do rows number three all the way to 35 and then meet me back here in a moment. So you see, you can see six. So two, four, six. So please do that and then we're gonna pick up on row number 36 next. So row number 36 and 37 is the repeat for the remaining of this particular side panel. So row number 36 you're going to already chain one, so chain one and you'll put two single crochet into the very first stitch. And then you're gonna blast your way across and you'll do one single crochet in each stitch all the way to the other side and on the very final stitch you'll put in two single crochet. So every time you're doing row number 36 that's exactly what it is and you'll be noticing that it's gonna grow on both sides. So just put me on pause now, do this and then we'll start on number 47 or sorry number 37 next. So 37 is exactly what you were doing down here in the regular panel. So it's just chain one and doing one single crochet in each. So the expanding of it is taking its time so it provides a beautiful angle. So it's not rushing to expand, it's just nicely growing out. And that was row number 37. So just one single crochet in each. So you just turn your work and if you've done the one single crochet in each in the last one you know that you gotta expand again. So chain one and this is number 36 again and you'll put two into this first one and then blast your way all the way across. Okay and then the very final you'll put in two in two there. Can you tell me how many rows that you can see here on the screen? It's easier if you look this way. So you got two, four, six, eight and then this is nine because you can see it, there's not another one there so it's nine. So then when I turn it around I can just continue to uh, make it work. So what you need to do then is expanding this out and you need to get all the way to row number 80. So you'll be able to easily count that when you're working your way across. And I need you to make two panels that are identical and after you get row number 80 done you are done. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, ten, and go all the way to 80 and then after that you're gonna fasten off and then you'll be doing two of these and then you can move on to the back paneling next. So get these two side panels done first and then we're gonna start the back cabling next. So here's what it looks like on the back panel and what our goal is is to get all of this done and there's a set repeat which we will talk about later on. And you're going to notice that when we start this we're gonna be starting off at a tip right down here and we're going to be expanding nice and slowly until we get to 18 inches or 18 stitches across. Once we get to the 18 stitches across we are going to repeat then rows number eight through 15 over and over and over until you get to the length that it's suggesting. So there's a set number of repeating. And so what I have here is that I cannot figure stuff like this out in the written pattern. So what I've done for you is that I've created a crochet diagram and I'm gonna show you that next. So like all of my tutorials I do a sample. So this is my sample version. You can see the width of it. Use my hands as a guide on how wide it is. It's not too wide at all. Um, my sample that I'm using on camera is using thick yarn and a bigger hook so that you have more visual to see. So you can see that it starts off with the point here at the base and then you're going to attach um, the side panels to the seventh uh, row and so the panel is going to come in and attach and it will give a rounded off look so you can see that it's not all the way up. And so the ridges that are up that you see that's the single crochet joining that is happening there and you're gonna be expected to do that on your own. So this uh, particular tutorial is really focused on the cabling itself and the steps involved to make that happen. So when I said that I can't figure it out from a crochet uh, written pattern, I can. I just can't visualize it when I'm doing a repeating and I need to physically see it. This is the way that I learned to crochet is through diagram work. 
So what we're going to do is create an adjustable ring and we're going to start off here and it's going to expand outward and once it gets to row number seven that's the final expansion and then there's going to be 18 stitches all the way across and these cabling are jumping around between using a forward cable and a backward cable in order to do it and we're using front posts and back posts double crochet when it comes to this. So when we're doing this particular cable this is not like the cowl that we just did of like the um, the turtleneck cowl that we did where all the cabling is only done on one side. We are maintaining the cabling even when we're on the back side in order to really make it jump forward on the front side of the work. So what I need you to do is that we're going to get ourselves started and I'm going to show you all the way to the end of row number 15. I'm going to show you then how to finish this as well. So we're just gonna take our time and let's start off with the first row. So let's check it off. You can download this on my website if you want the crochetcrowd.com. We're gonna start ourselves with a magic circle or an adjustable ring they call it and then we're gonna start our first row then building onto that ring and we need to secure that ring first. So I'm gonna bring you back to the diagram each time to make sure that you understand what you're doing. You can also download this too if you just wanna uh, download it and go. So let's begin the magic circle or adjustable ring first. So have a tapestry needle ready and what you need to do is that you need to put your two fingers out and put your strand in the front of your hand like this. Even though you may be in an intermediate level or advanced you may not understand this. So you're gonna put two fingers out there. Just hold a hold for a sec while you do it. Okay now I want you to take the yarn strand that's leading to the ball and bring it in front of your hand and over like this. I'll hold. I then want you to turn your hand over and put this one so it just locks right here. So it creates a crossing formation here. Grab your hook and we wanna concentrate on this strand right here. We're gonna scoop up underneath that strand and we wanna grab that other strand and pull it forward. We have other videos just dedicated to this if you're interested. So once it's on there, just release it from your hand. And just hold. Now the pattern is going to ask us to chain one anyway. So what I want you to do is chain one and that will lock that chain. And I want you to keep the two strands like this. So there's one here in this ring. And when we crochet we want to crochet that we're wrapping around these two strands so that we can lock it. And now we're officially ready for row number one. We are going to use this tapestry needle but we're not quite ready for it. So let's begin. I've already chained one because it's locked. And so row number one we're going to apply two single crochets into the first in part of the ring. So we have one and making sure you go over two strands and two and now you gotta do two double crochets. So we have one and two and then two more single crochet. So we have one and two. Once you have this done release this off. Just pull a loop and I want you to grab the tail of this and pull on it and this will pull that into a semicircle. You're not done. You can't just leave it like this. You have to put this in through a tapestry needle and you need to secure it or it will fall out. To secure it, make sure this is on the back side of it. You can tell this is where you finish. So just turn it over and just come into the back section only and weave it in and out a total of three times in three different sections. Do not interfere with the front side of this panel. Once it's woven in three times you can cut it safely and this should never fall out on you. Put that aside 
you can put your hook back in, tighten this back down and now you're ready for row number two. Let's go back to the diagram. On the crochetcrowd.com I also provided you another download which is a check sheet. So what we have here is that we just completed row number one. It says circle the number when you complete the rows. So number one has been done. So I can circle it done. So this is the repeat once we get there and I found if I do not do this I get completely lost in a cable pattern. So each time I complete a row uh, I'm going to check this off and then I'll show you how I'm gonna use this here when we're completing that. Let's do that and I'll be doing that off camera so I won't bring that back until we start the repeat. So here on the crochet diagram we have the stitch key of all the different stitches that will be used. So if this no doesn't exist in this pattern we don't, we don't put it in the stitch key. So we're going to be experiencing double crochet back post next. What I did is I broke the rules of crochet. Normally colors like this don't exist but I found for myself because I have a spatial issue in my, in my brain of visualizing, uh, visualizing stuff. Whenever we were doing a back post I put it in green and then I put orange for uh, for front post or front troubles or anything like that. So that's just something that I did for myself and hopefully you'll find that helpful. Let's go back here to row number two. In row number two we are going to do an expansion. So when we go to do this we're going to chain up one and we're going to put one single crochet in the first two. This here, this double crochet, it's gonna be a back post double crochet and what we have to do is slam in two single crochets between the space of these two double crochets that are here. Then the last two are single crochet each. So let's try row number two. So this is where I left you. So turn your work and we're going to begin row number two. Chain up one to start. You'll always do a chain one to start and the first two will be single crochet each. So we have one and then two. This here is the double crochet from before and we wanna make this as a back post double crochet. To do that if you're in this level you probably know but you're gonna wrap your hook and you're just gonna come in from behind and just wrap around just that double crochet post on its own and then pop it out to the back. It may be a little tough for you so just keep it, keep, keep the faith and then wrap the hook pull through and you'll be on the back side of that stitch and then pull through two and two. This is now establishing that the other side right here is the actual front of the work when people are looking at you. Now in the space between the two double crochets right here it wants you to put in two single crochets. So it's not a stitch it's just a space so put two in there. Here's the next double crochet and it wants you to be doing a back post double crochet. So wrap the hook, come from the back and pop it out the front. Just collect that. Just turn your hook and just kind of pull it back. It might be tight. Pull through the yarn and then pull through two and two. And now you have two stitches left and those are gonna be one single crochet each. And that was row number two. Let's turn your work and let's go back to the diagram for row number three. So in row number three we're gonna chain up one and the first two will be single crochet. If you follow this all the way up the first two will always be a single crochet but there is times where the second one may have a bit of an expansion just so you, that you're aware. So row number three the first two are single. This is gonna be now a front post double crochet because we've just now established what is the right side and wrong side by the last row that just went in. So around this front post, or around this back post double crochet they want you to do a front post double crochet. When you turn it around it'll be popping out towards you which is great. And then these two that you put in the space you're gonna put in a single crochet in each and then again two uh, front post double crochets around this uh, post here and then you'll have two single crochets at the end. Let's try row number three. Hopefully I won't drive you crazy with my diagram but it's the only way I learn. So let's begin. You're gonna chain up one and the first two will each be a single crochet. So one and two. And you're gonna see this stitch is popping out towards you. You can see the three dimensional to it. So around that, that post you wanna apply two front posts uh, double crochet. So wrapping it and coming from the front side 
and just pop that so that the post is now in front. Wrap the hook, pull through, pull through two and two and you wanna do that one more time on that same one. So wrap and going into the exact same space, pull through, pull through two and two. Now the two, that counts as the one that it's sitting in front of. So the, the actual top of that post, you're just gonna ignore that. And now the two single crochets that are in the middle, you're going to apply one single crochet in each. So one and two. Just envision this thing like a mirror. So what you just did here, you're gonna do again. So now that the two middle are in, this post here, that's popping out towards you, make it two front post double crochets this time. So one and two. And then one that, once that's done, the last two stitches here will each be one single crochet. And this is row number three. So you see the cabling is starting to happen. And on the back, nothing. So you can always tell. Let's turn your work and let's go back to the diagram for number four. In row number four, we're going to expand again. So we're gonna chain up one and then you're gonna put the first two as single crochets. We're now then going to be, do a back post double crochet around this post here and then in this space, it's not a stitch but a space, you're gonna put in a single crochet to help separate those out and then in the next one, you'll do a back post double crochet. The two middle will stay as a single crochet each and then you'll do the same on the other side. So the first one will be the back post double crochet. You'll put in a single crochet between the spaces of those and then the next one is a back post double crochet and then the final two and this will be then row number four. Let's try row four next. Okay, let's try number four. You're gonna chain up one and you'll put a single crochet in the first two. So we have one and two. Now you cannot see these particular stitches but what you can do is that if you just turn it, you can see the two front post double crochets from before. This is what makes those test your nerves. You have to trust that the work is done behind it. So you have one and then two in a row, okay? So you're gonna make the first one a back post double crochet. So you're just gonna grab that particular first post only and make it a back post double crochet. I'll hold for a second. The space in between the two posts, it's not a stitch, it's just a space, put in a single crochet there and this will help push it apart. And then in the very next post that's sticking out, you're gonna make that also a back post double crochet. And then this takes you to the two middle that are right in the front. Single crochet each of those. I'm gonna turn it around and show you. So what you're doing is you're separating it. Can you see how that changed? So let's complete this side. So the first post that's available to you is going to be a back post double crochet. The space between the two posts is going to be a single crochet to push it apart and then the next post is a back post double crochet. We're gradually getting this thing to open up like a flower. And once that last one is in, the last two are one single crochet each. And you're gonna turn your work and begin row number five. Does yours look like this? Let's move on to round number, or row number five. On the fifth row, we wanna chain up one and the first two will be a single crochet each. You're then going to apply a front post double crochet around this post here. It'll be really easier to see this time. And then in this single crochet that we use to push these apart, we're gonna put two single crochets to expand it. 
the next one is a front post double crochet around this post. And the two middle still say, uh, still are, are a single crochet. The next one is a front post double crochet into this one and then we're gonna put two single crochets into this one that we use to push them apart to expand it. One front post double crochet around this post and then the last two will be a single crochet. I'm trying to take my time on this pattern. So let's move on to row number five. Let's begin row number five. So you can see the good side of the work. It's really beautiful and you're gonna start and you're gonna chain up one and the first two will be a single crochet each. So you probably got that down licked right. Now this post here, you're going to maintain that post and make it a front post double crochet to keep it going. You want these beautiful texture lines to keep moving on there. So just grab only that post and make it a front post double crochet. And then this is the single crochet that we use to separate the two from each other. So this time there will be two single crochets in each of the, uh, in that particular one. And that will push those out even further away. The next post here is gonna be a front post double crochet. And then we have the two middle once again. So those will be one single crochet each. And so remember what you did on this side, you're gonna do again on this side. So start off with your post and make it a front post double crochet. This is the single crochet that's separating those two. Make that two single crochets into the same stitch to push it even further apart from each other. And then use this next post as a front post double crochet. And then you have your two last stitches and those are single crochet each. And this was row number five. So turn your work and let's get ready for number six. Go back to the diagram. In row number six we're going to chain up one and you'll apply one single crochet in the first two. The next post that you're going to run into you're gonna keep it as a back post double crochet so that it stays intact. The next two are going to be one single crochet each. And then this one here where this is where the expansion is happening and we're gonna put two back post double crochet around that same one to push it further apart from each other. The middle stays the same of two single crochets and then the first one out we're gonna put two back post double crochets back into there and then the next two are singles, a back post double crochet and then the final two single crochet. Let's try row number six. Let's try row number six. Gonna chain up one and you're looking at the back side of it you can clearly tell and you will put one single crochet into the first two stitches that you have. You can feel, I can, those bumps even with thinner yarn you can feel those bumps behind you to know they're there. And so the next one is gonna be a back post double crochet around the post that's sticking up. Okay so just grab onto it, pull through and you're accessing it from the back side. This keeps all of the work on the one side of the work visually. The next two singles, so this counts as that top of that post by the way, so you don't wanna use that. So you're gonna use these two, these are the singles. So you're gonna apply one single crochet in each. And let's turn it around and take a look. Just turn it if you're ever unsure. The next post is gonna have two back post double crochets in it, so just start and do the first one. and then put one more around the same post. And so now you're just expanding that post into dividing into two. The two middles are right here. This is the single crochet and let's just apply one single crochet into each and let's turn your work and take a look. So you, there's actually two posts here that are jumping out and they'll be get more separated later. So let's start again. The post is next. So you're going to apply two back post double crochets under the same post. And that counts as the stitch that it's sitting on top of. The two singles are next. 
So just apply one into each, one single into each one of those. You can turn it and check. The next one is a post. You can see it. You can feel it. Use your fingers and you're gonna make that a back post double crochet. And then you have two stitches left and there will be a single crochet each. Turn your work and that was row number six. Okay, let's move on to row number seven next. So row number seven is the final of the expansion. We're gonna expand one more time and we're gonna chain up one and apply one single crochet into the first two. We're then in this, this post here, we're going to put two front post double crochets around to expand that out. And then the next one is one single by itself and then the next single here has two into the same stitch. I'll explain what these dots are later. Then what we're going to do from this point is that we're going to create a crisscross formation. This is called a forward cable and what we have here is that we're going to reach over with the treble and use the front post of this one over here. So once we get these two we're gonna reach on over and do this and we'll do two in a row with the front post treble. This here is the ending of this so we're gonna do a front post treble into this one and this one. This last one is in front. This is why it's called a front ca uh, cable, a forward cable. So this is gonna stay on the front side. So I dulled down these to indicate that those will be on the back when you're done with this particular formation. Once that's done, the next single crochet you're gonna apply two into the first one, one into the next, two front post double crochets around this post and then the last two are going to be a single crochet each. This is row number seven. This is the final before the repeat begins and the final and you will have a total of 18 stitches by the time you're done the seventh row next. So let's begin the seventh row. Chain up one and do one single crochet into the first two stitches. So that's nice and easy right? It's not always gonna be that way. There is going to be a couple rows in the future in the repeat that you'll do something different. In the, this post here, you're going to apply two front post double crochets around the same post. So one and then do the same thing on the same post. Okay, you ready for more? The next single crochet is right there. So you apply one single crochet and then this next single crochet will have two single crochets in it. So one and two. And now we're gonna do what is called as a forward cable. So I want you to only pay attention to the four front post double crochets. So we're going to start by wrapping the hook twice as a uh, front treble and you'll start on this one right here. So just reach on over and wrap and then finish this one. So go two, two and two and then do the next one right after it. So wrap twice and do a front post treble and then do two and two and two. So they want this section to be in behind once this is done. So when we do these two next, these two that I'm about to do will stay in front of it so this will bury this in behind. So wrap the hook twice and come into the very first one of this front post. The forward cabling is always easiest. So just grab it and pull it and finish that stitch. And now grab the next one that is right there. That's also a front post and make that into a, a front post treble as well. So you can see when I finished the one this here is in the front just like it shows in the diagram. Now you're going to come immediately to the two single crochets. The first one will be two single crochets into the first one. So one and two one single crochet into the next one and then this one here you're going to expand it out. So this front post will be two front post double crochets. 
or when I look at it and I see it it's on the right side I say front post so it's technically the back post when you were working on it before. So that's gonna be have two in there and then you have two stitches left and you'll have one single crochet in the final two. And this is the end of row number seven and the final for the expansion. And eventually this is going to kind of straighten off as the more we do it it's gonna get flat but for now it's kind of in this formation of a semicircle. So let's turn our work and let's talk about what our procedures are going forward because I'm gonna show you an easy way to be able to follow me along so that you don't hear me talk over and over and over about the same thing. This video has what is referred to as chapters. In the video description you'll see a time code and you'll see all the row numbers including where we started and etc. I find with myself that it's better for you to go right to what you need to get to. So for example I'm going to demonstrate row number eight in diagram format and then I'm going to put row eight with another time code. So it's gonna say row eight diagram if you wanna review the diagram again or just row eight so that you don't have to come back to the diagram. So some people like to, don't need a review of the diagram every time they're doing the repeat so it allows you to use the video chapters to scroll ahead or scroll backward uh, and get exactly where you need to go. So we're gonna move on now to the row eight for the diagram as our next step. Let's do row number eight. You're going to chain up one and you'll do one single crochet into the first two. This we're gonna do a back post double crochet around these two that we just created in row seven. And so in the future when we're doing the repeat you're gonna be picking up and this will be row seven will be technically row number 15 in the future just so you know. Then you're gonna single crochet the next two. See these hexagon purple spots? That means that those stitches are skipped. So I put that in there to make sure that you just ignore those and immediately do a back post double crochet around these next two that come up. In the space in between where these crisscross, that's not a stitch, you are going to apply two single crochets into that space and then do back post double crochet around the other half of that cable. You're going to skip the first stitch out and single crochet the next two. Do a back post double crochet around the next two and then two single crochets into the final two. Let's move on to row number eight. So let's begin row number eight and you're gonna chain up one and you'll single crochet in the first two stitches. So one and two. The next two posts will be in behind and you will make each one of those a back post double crochet. If you were ever looking at the back side of the project, the wrong side, and you decide that you're gonna do a front post double crochet, you need to recheck yourself because everything has to favor the good side of the work. Okay, so you always have to favor this side. We're then going to apply then uh, next two single crochets in a row. So with one in each and you are going to skip over the next single crochet that's right here. Now just turn it forward and you will see the two trebles here. You are gonna make those each a back post double crochet. So start with the one that's closest to your hook and then do the next one. It's in behind the work. So let me just turn it around so I can show you. So you can see it's continuing up in that, di that direction. Then come back here and separate the two that are crisscrossing. It's a space right in the middle and you'll apply two single crochets into each. So one and two. This same one, these two here, you're gonna also make those a back post double crochet. Just turn it and just use your fingers and move stuff out of the way if you have to and just keep those as a back post double crochet. Okay, so now we have three single crochets here. So you're gonna skip the first one and just single crochet the next two after that. And then the next two uh, posts that are here you're going to apply a back post double crochet around each of those. It's kind of hard in video format 
because you may want me to turn it as I'm explaining it. Okay and then the final two stitches that are going in will be one single crochet each. And then you can turn it around and take a look and you can see that the middle has crossed over quite beautifully. So what I want you to do is I wanna grab you that checklist and show you how that works next. So on your checklist this is the first time we're doing it so I just put a dot in and then you can just check it off. So if you ever get confused of where you are just check off your list and then you have to repeat once you do it once 13 more times before you're done. So just, just work your way down the checklist and this is the only time you'll see it. Let's move on to row number nine for a diagram next. If you do not need to see the diagram just use the video chapters and just scroll to number nine. What we have here in number nine is chain up one and do one single crochet in the first and then we're gonna do two single crochets in the next. We're then going to do what is called as a backward cable. So what we have to do then is that we apply the first one. So we're gonna reach on over to these two and do the trebles there and when we come back we have to come in behind and make sure this stays in behind. It's what creates that beautiful look. The next single crochets that are up there's gonna be two into the first one and then two into the next one and then we do the backward cable once again. And then in the end two single crochets into the same one and one single crochet into the last. Let's try row number nine. Okay let's try row number nine on the sample. You're going to start and you're going to chain up one and you'll apply one single crochet in the first one. And then in the next one two single crochets into the same one. From here what we need to do is that we need to put this set of cable and this set of cable together so that it will crisscross over. This is called the backward cable. So what we need to do to do that is that you're going to wrap the hook twice it'll be a treble and you're gonna reach over to the first post right over here. And just come on from the front side and make that there. At least they designed this so that when you have the, the cabling cross that you can actually physically see it on the front side of the work. So then do the next one right after it. We now have to come back to these two but we cannot come in front like we did it before. What we have to do is go in from behind. So we're gonna wrap that hook first and I know it's gonna be awkward so I know you can start swearing at me now. <laughs> So what we have, we have to come into here but we have to come up underneath this piece here. So you're gonna keep it on the hook and just stay underneath and just grab the first one that's farthest away and just kind of peel it up. And then do your front post double crochet as you know it. You gotta peel that out of the way so that it stays on the back. And now we're gonna do the next one. So wrap the hook and once you do the first one the second one's easier. So do that one. Just come up behind and then grab that second one and then peel it up and finish it. And that's called the backward cable. Okay. So do you see the difference? This one was in front going in this direction. This one's in the front going that direction. Once that one's done the two middle single crochets that you have here they're each going to be two single crochets each. So we have one and two into the first one and then the next one is gonna be two into the next one. We're then going to do this exact same thing. So just wrap the hook and do your first two over here so you don't have to worry about going in behind on the first time. Do a front post treble and do the next one. And now we have to access this from behind. So wrap the hook twice and just kind of peel it, things out and just grab that first one. It's awkward when you start doing this for the very first time pull through. And do the next one. See it's already kind of stretched a little bit so it's easier to get to the second one and pull it up. Okay. 
and so that also stays in that same direction. Once that last one is in, you're gonna come into the very end here, number nine. The first one here is gonna be two single crochets and then the last one is gonna be one single crochet and that completed row number nine. Just turn your work and begin row number 10. Let's go to the diagram next. So for the next three rows, 10, 11, and 12, we're just gonna come straight on down into the existing posts. But because we are in the front side, back side, it makes it sound more complicated than it truly is. So what you're going to do for row number 10 is that you're gonna chain up one and just concentrate on the first two only. You can see my hexagon dots are there. You're just going to ignore that stitch. Just skip on over it and do a back post double crochet around the two that are leaning over. In the space where those have crossed over, you're going to put in two singles and then a back post double crochet around the other two that came this way. You're going to skip, there's four stitches in the middle, just skip the first one and just single crochet the two middle and then skip the other one on the other side of that. And then a back post double crochet around the ones that are coming in this direction. So you do two of those and go single crochet into the space between where they cross over and then a back post double crochet around the other two that are coming up in this direction and then skip this stitch here and one single crochet in the final two. Let's try row number 10. Let's try row number 10. You're gonna chain up one and you are going to apply one single crochet only in the first two. So ignore that third one that was sitting there. Just ignore it completely. Now just look, get from behind so that you can see it. So you can see it here on this side but we wanna make those as a back post double crochet these two first. So just kind of peel it backward and make them a back post double crochet and you'll do that for those two. And right where they crossed over each other, it's just a space, there's no stitching there and you're going to apply two single crochets in that same spot. It, this is what helps keep your counting. Now the other two that are sitting here, you're going to make those also a back post double crochet. So it keeps those cables moving on the other side. I'll turn it around in a second. So let's take a look. Okay, so we got that done. Now we have four stitches in the middle. So what I want you to do is ignore the, the first one and the last one and concentrate just on the two middle and apply one single crochet in each. So that means you're skipping over this one as I mentioned. So then you can see it's crossing there. So you're gonna grab these two first and make them a front post double crochet each, or sorry, a back post double crochet each. So it kinda gets complicated. Front post, back post. <laughs> okay, so right where they crossed over, you're going to apply two single crochets right into the space. And then these two here, keep those as a back post double crochet too. And you're not quite done. So you have three here that you can see. One, two, three. Ignore the first one and just do the last two as single crochet each. And this was row number 10. Not awesome. So let's continue and go to the diagram for number 11 next. So row number 11, you're gonna chain up one and you'll apply the first two as double crochet. These are gonna stay as a front post double crochet. The middle there where we applied those two into a space, they'll each be a single crochet and then you'll come down and do a front post double crochet. So this whole row here, you can just see it's straight on down uh, front post double crochets and everything is just kind of lining up perfectly. Let's try row number 11. So let's begin row number 11. Chain up one and you'll apply a single crochet in the first two. So all of these cables are just gonna be a straight down fr front post double crochet. So just starting with the first one, make it a front post double crochet and then the next one right beside it. The two single crochets that we put in the space last time, they'll each be one single crochet each. And then these ones here, these uh, front posts, or these posts that you see, make those as a front post double crochet as well. 
this is probably the most textured cable I've ever done in person but I've never, I try not doing cabling very often. <laughs> okay, so we have that going in. So then the two middle ones, we'll keep those as a single crochet. And now we'll focus on these doubles. So we'll make those as a front post double. And then we will apply one single crochet in each of these two single crochets behind. And then a front post double crochet around the other two. Like that. And then single crochet in the final two. And that was row number 11. Let's try row number 12. So we're gonna move on to row number 12 next and in number 12 here chain up one and we're gonna just maintain everything that we just did but we're gonna stay on the back side of it here. So we're gonna go all the way across just using back post double crochet around there and it's not until the 13th round where we start crossing over and creating all the fun stuff again. So let's begin the 12th row next. So use your fingertips and just like braille behind just use it to understand where you are in the stitch work. This is number 12 and you'll chain up one and you'll apply one single crochet in the first two. And I can feel the ridge in behind. So the next two are going to be a back post double crochet. And that will keep that texture on the other side of the work which is the right side of the work. The next two single crochets are right here. So just apply one single in each. And then I can feel that again. So the next two are back post double crochet. So at least you're getting a little bit of a mental break uh, when you're doing these cables to let them just expand on their own. So the two middle are one single crochet in each. The two middle are one single crochet in each. Sorry my dog's barking in the background. So and then you're gonna do a back post double crochet. I think Sunny's here, her little friend. Okay. Now the two middle one between the cabling is going to be a single crochet and then the next two are back post double crochet again. And now the next two in a row, it's the final, is one single crochet each. So you're gonna see this is kind of flattening off a bit. I told you it would. And so it, you'll notice that and this is the end of row number 12. Amazing, right? Let's move on now to number 13. In the 13th row, it's exactly what we did in the 9th row. If you look here, it's the same thing. So we're gonna start off and you'll apply then one single crochet in the first, two into the next. You'll do a crisscross formation. This is a backward cable. The two middle, each one of those will have two single crochets and then we'll do a backwards cable again and then the next one after that is two into the same one and then one into the final. Let's do 13th row next. Let's do the 13th row. We've already done it before. We'll do it again. So just chain up one, apply one single into the first and then two singles into the next. Now we're gonna do a backward cable. So we're only gonna concentrate on these two and these two. We're gonna make them cross over. Let's wrap the hook twice and make this a front post treble all the way over here. And then do the one right after it. And this is a backwards cable. So we're gonna be accessing these but from behind. So wrap and just shift everything and come up underneath and just grab it and pull up. And then finish that. Okay, once you do the first one, the second one's always easiest. So coming in from behind and get the next one in line. Just use your fingers to feel around. Okay, 
So the crisscross is done. So you got the two middle. So the first one is gonna be two into the same one. And then you're at the halfway point. So the next one is two into the same one as well. And then we're gonna crisscross doing the backward cable again. So reach on over. And the next one after that. And now you're gonna come into these two from, from behind. I'm making it look easy if you've never done that before. Um, just take your time. I try not teaching many cables like this on YouTube because I think it frustrates people but it is possible and it's not that hard once you get your hands in the motion. Once that crisscross is done then the first one before the end is gonna be two into the same one and then the last one is one single crochet. And that was the end of number 13 and you can see a crisscross is, is, has happened. Let's do number 14 next. So number 14 we're going to chain up one We've already done this before by the way. Uh, this is the same as the tenth row. So chain up one, one single into the first two. Ignore the third one, just skip on over it and just do a back post double crochet around these two that came on, came on over. You're going to apply a single crochet in the space in between the crisscross and then a back post double crochet around these two that came over. Ignore the first one and the last one of the middle and just focus on the two middle ones as a single crochet and then back post double crochet around the next one that's coming up on over on the side. Two single crochets in the space between the crisscross and then another two back post double crochets around this one. And then ignore this one, just skip it and just single crochet the last two in a row. Let's try row number 14. So let's try the 14th row. You're gonna chain up one and you'll apply one single crochet in only the first two. Ignore that third one. Using your fingers you can kind of see things just how on an angle. Turn it around if you have to and just get the first two to be a back post double crochet. It's always the row after the crisscross that really helps solidify the look. Once those two are in just separate the crisscross and the space there will be two single crochet. And now you can have the next two that are part of the cabling continue to make those a back post double crochet as well. You will have four single crochets in the center. Ignore the first one and the last one and focus on the two middle and make those each a single crochet. I'll turn it around for your benefit. And let's move on to the other side. So once those two in the middle are done come immediately to the crisscrossing ones. Do the first two as a back post double crochet. And then do the crisscross right in the center of two single crochet. And then make this other two a back post double crochet. And then you have three stitches left at the end. Ignore the first one and just use the two last ones for a single crochet and that was the end of number 14. Turn and work. It's really thick yarn but you really can see it right. So let's continue and do the 15th round or row sorry that is next and it's that's the final of the repeating in order to go back in time in order to continue the same process going through. The 15th row is our next you're going to chain one. You'll do single crochet in the first two and these will be a front post double crochet coming straight on down. Right here you're going to apply one single crochet in the first one and then two into the next one. And then you're gonna do a crisscross. This is a forward cable. This is exactly what we did here on the seventh row. Then once you get that crisscross done it'll be single crochet two times into the same one and then one into the next and then a front post double crochet around the next two and then two at the end. Let's try 
fifteenth and this is the end of the repeat. Okay, let's try the end of this repeat. So you're gonna chain up one and you'll apply one single crochet into the first two and then come on straight on down to these and just make them a front post double crochet. Okay, and now you got your singles here. There's two of those. So make the first one a single crochet and then make the next one two single crochet. And now you're gonna crisscross using these two and these two and ignore what's in the center. So to do that and this is a forward cable so just reach on over. So you always have to start your cables the same way. It's whether you do the second uh, set whether it's in the front or it's in the back. So the middle is always crossing in the forward. So you just reach on over here and stay on the front side of the work and a front post treble there and it's friend next door. Just like that and now you're gonna come immediately to the two single crochets and the first one will be two single crochets into the first one and one into the next and then you have your cables there. So those will be a front post double crochet each and then the final two will be a single crochet. And then this concludes the actual repeating of the pattern. So you'll do it over and over and over. So let's talk a little bit about that. I'll show you my sample that I worked on and we'll begin that process next. So right here is my sample that I worked on just for practice and this is Peyton's Lincoln Fog just so that you understand that. It's a beautiful yarn here. So because this yarn is much thicker that's obviously we're actually way down here on this part of the pattern. So we're right actually at the spot. So you continue to repeat over and over and over and on your particular sheets that you have you're just gonna check it off. So I will show you how I did mine because this is the way I normally do it. But I so usually what I do is that I write the row numbers or the round numbers and I just use these checking points but I had you doing this particular concept for this checklist. So we just actually finished the 15th uh, row. So now you just go back to row number eight and do from 15 and you'll continue to do that all the way and, and repeat that a total of 13 times. The very last row before you kind of finish though you have to do that 13 times and then do row number eight one more time. So that's where I'm gonna pick you up next and then I'll show you the very final row that's left. So let's uh, begin. So continue then to repeat uh, rows number eight through 15 13 more times and I'm gonna show you row number eight next anyway because we have to do that as the final and that's where I'm gonna start next in this part of the tutorial. So after you repeat rows number eight through 15 a total of 13 more times you have to do row number eight just one last time and then the very last row is going to come in to finish this thing off. So what I'm gonna do now is pick up on row number eight. We've already done it before and it's just a matter of just coming straight on down and you can find the diagram information if you're looking for more of a slower process but I'm gonna jump right into the um, stitch work next. So when you're ready to finally finish it off and you have all your stitch repeating done you can just chain up one and this is the eighth row one last time and you're going to apply one single crochet in the first two. You'll keep the next two as a back post double crochet and you can just see it in behind and feel it. Okay and then you'll single crochet then um, the next two in a row and you're going to ignore the third one, the single crochet, just ignore it and then just make the first two as a, a back post double crochet and like before this is number eight. So we have to put in two single crochets in between where the two crisscross right in the center. Okay and then the next two are a back post double crochet So there's three single crochets that are sitting here. You're going to ignore the first one and just single crochet the next two and then the next two are back post double crochet. Okay. 
and then the next, the last two are single crochet. So when you're ready then, the next row then would be technically the ending. Um, so if you've done all your repeats, row number eight has to be the final and let's concentrate on the last row next. So the last row of instruction is the very final and you're gonna fasten off at the end. You'll just chain up one, one single crochet in the first two and then just drop on down and make these all front post double crochets and then just there's two single crochets that separate those out. Let's do your last row and this is the cabling section. Let's begin the very last row so when you're finally happy with the length of it, you're just gonna do this final row. So one single into the first two and then these two that are here, just make them as a front post double. The two single crochets that we put into the middle of the space, you're going to make those. Let's do your very final row. So you're just gonna chain up one and apply two single crochets. So one into each of those. And then keep these as a front post double crochet. The next two in a row are each one single crochet. And then the next cabling here is a front post double crochet straight on down. The two single crochets that you applied into the space last time are sitting there. So just one single into each. And then have a front post double coming straight on down. two single crochets in the next, or sorry, one single crochet in the next two and then come on down and do your front post double. And then finally one single crochet in the last two. This is the very final uh, round, or sorry, a fire, very final row and uh, it actually looks pretty cool and uh, this is where you would finish off and let's just quickly talk about the assembly and that's what I'm gonna leave that in your capable hands but I'll just quickly talk about that and we'll conclude today's tutorial. So here is your side panels that you probably have already done before and so you'll get those ready and you will use your cabling to attach them together. So the instructions are on the second page when you're going to apply that. So with the wrong sides of the seams, uh, seam side, uh, put the panels together with a single crochet. So you don't have to sew these things, you just have to single crochet them together. And that's why you see the ridge that is popping out. So you're gonna sew those there. So the cabling will actually um, work its way out. So when the cabling is applied, you're just going along the edge and then straight on down and continue all the way. But you notice that this panel does not go all the way here. This is row number seven of where it ha happens. So there would have been a, a, a space on the screen saying place the marker at the seventh uh, row because I didn't mention it but that's what that is. So you're gonna apply that and then you'll do it to the same to the other side. The hood edging has a hood edging so it's just a single crochet around the, or sorry it's just a slip stitch around the edging of the hood itself and just uh, keep an eye on that. Just follow the instructions for that. And then the bottom edging also has um, one single crochet around in each and four single at the at the points. So just follow this. You are uh, probably an intermediate advanced level person. You probably totally understand what is going on here. But it, the, the really the hard work is in the cabling itself. But everything else here is probably stuff you've already done in the past. So this is it for now. We hope that you enjoy and hopefully this was a good tutorial and let me know in the comments. Um, I tried to break it down as much as I can um, without trying to overload you. Have a good day. We hope to see you again real soon.